The desert holds many secrets. But simply scratch beneath the surface, and you will find a plethora of mythic possibilities. The seething primordial ooze that lurks behind this veil of tears, this insubstantial pageant faded which we call reality. And it's in this fecund creative slime that you'll find the awesome, mesmerizing power that is Bitch Lab. Hi, I'm Michael Hurst, and this is not simply a movie. It's a searing indictment of the social mores that pervade the rapidly expanding nihilism in modern society. It's an existential cornucopia, if you will, that shatters our illusions destroys our preconceptions, and functions as a plea for understanding in a mechanized ethos. Encapsulating in one brave stroke the struggle for identity in a societal wasteland, Bitchlap carves this existential menage across the moral canvas in a blaze of unremitting alacrity. It's a salutary reminder of the folly of familiarity, and it's a welcome reappraisal of the cultural zeitgeist with tits and guns. The producers have been fearless in their exploration of the minutiae of human existence, in exposing the loneliness of each, the bedrock of the human condition. They've looked into the awesome abyss of time. They've stared down the demon of sex in a cataclysm of linguistic contortion. And they have stepped beyond the mere phantasmagorical into a world shriven of all its external paraphernalia. You know, bitch slap is a unique juxtaposition of arcane stereotypes and postmodern sensibilities in a pervading miasma of jaded ennui. Many people would call it a hyperbolic parable, and yet for me, this movie will always remain strangely prophetic in its, dare I say it, revelatory use of tits and guns. see only one movie in your life, make sure it's Citizen Kane. But if you plan to see more than one movie, Bitch Slap is the one for you. A life-enhancing, soul-affirming experience, with more booty than Blackbeard's pleasure chest, babes hotter than a jalapeno enema, awesome tits, and guns that make really loud noises. Thank you. Camera, please. Oh dear, 30 years of Shakespearean. <laughs>